hey 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 this is beverly and i will not be denied this morning when i was having my morning drink with god i had a transparent moment with him and it was about certain people who are no longer in my life in the way they had been and i was telling him basically you know i was disappointed and sad about certain people and I wasn't mad, but just, you know, disappointed because in my mind, um, I thought we were good and they just stopped, you know, communicating with me. Um, you know, I guess life is life and, and I reach out, barely get a response back if I did, or they just up and just stop communicating. And what came to me was they were in my life for a reason and a season and once the reason and season were up our roots became untied so what i gathered from that whole conversation was when we have certain people in our lives and we're just moving along together we're helping each other benefiting from each other, growing, learning, da, da, da. We are tied at the roots. Sometimes it's a knot, sometimes it's a bow, sometimes it's a twist tie like on the end of a loaf of bread. And that's so that as we grow up together, we're still joined at the foundation and we're just growing up together. Well, when the season is up or the reason is up, those roots are no longer intertwined because you may be going that way. They may be going that way or where they are as far as their life and their mission, they may be at the stopping point. Not that they're dying or anything like that, but where they are, this is as far as they're gonna go. Whether it's in their mindset or their finances or their goals, hopes and dreams, and you're still going up. And one of two things is going to happen if y'all stay joined at the roots. They're either going to hold you down to that particular level. Or you're going to grow up and up and up and up. And you will eventually pull them up out of their place. And they'll just be drug along, you know, they'll just be going along for the ride. And they're not, they're in a way, they're just going to wither up. They're just going to be dead weight. So I'm not telling you to stop hanging out with people, stop communicating with people, but just pay attention to how you're no longer growing together, how the conversations are forced how when you hang out together, it's kind of like something just doesn't feel right. It could be a, a case of where your roots need to be untied. Let them stay where they are. Let them go in their direction and you do the same. Or it could be vice versa. Like where you are is where you need to be permanently or where you are is where you need to be for this particular season because there's something else that you need. Whereas they have all that they need to keep going. So I got all of that from my conversation this morning, talking to God about how my feelings were hurt because I was no longer associating with certain people. or They just ghosted me as the saying goes. So that's why I like to encourage people, make sure you spend time with God. It doesn't have to be a uh, long drawn out prayer where you're speaking in King James but just gentle regular conversation instead of getting on the phone and texting folks and saying I'm upset about this or do you know that so and so changed their number and didn't give it to me or I went out to eat with so and so and all she was talking about was da 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 da, -da and I'm tired of that instead of doing all of that go to God and talk to him about it and it and it's just like I'm not trying to bring God down to our level, but it's with the most sincere heart that you go and you talk to God and tell him what's the what. And he'll break it down to you in a, in a way, 
that you'll understand and to a level to where you can accept it. Also ask him to give you the grace to handle what it is that he gives you because it could be a case of where he reveals that the so-and-so that you're still trying to take to stay tied to at the root is the one person that's telling your business or they're trying they're really secretly jealous of you and they're giving you bad advice so we got to ask God for the grace to handle what it is that he gives us um, because you know we are still dealing with people so um, I think that's about it Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Be sure to release your genius. Pull off the impossible every day. Remember, you will have whatever it is that you say. So declare with me today, I will not be denied.